America, the United States of America, where the guilty walk free and the innocent are blamed, even when they're murdered. Remember O.J. Simpson? The long trial, the televised trial, and even after that, he gets free on a technicality. A murderer who kills his wife walks free, and everyone knows he did it, but he's out to roam the streets. Remember Chris Benoit, the wrestler who loved his family so much that he would fly back for hours just to be with them for a few moments. The one America said must have killed his own family. And yet, they never came up with a single piece of evidence. No unequivocal evidence, not even one piece to show he did it. <laughs> Remember how the USA public all rushed to judgment along with the Georgia police? When the police said there was no evidence of forced entry, oh, then they thought it must be Ben. What well, he must have done it because there's no forced entry. I'm afraid someone walked in the front door. Someone he knew. When the ten empty beer cans are found and a half bottle of wine, America said, "Oh, Ben must have been drunk. It was the alcohol that did it." Uh oh. Autopsy, no trace. Toxicology reports, no trace of alcohol in his body or anybody else's body. Who drank the beer? Who drank the wine? The person who killed him. When the media latched on to roid rage, oh yes, it, it must be, it must be roid rage. And then, no evidence of steroids in sufficient quantities to call roid rage. So the media just shuts up and keeps quiet. And the same media that ranted on and on about roid rage now, toxicology comes out. Oh, time to be quiet. Time to talk about something else. Remember that X syndrome thing they argued about, which nobody had heard of. Oh yes, that means Benoit did it. After all, he was very upset that his child had this X syndrome and, uh oh, wrong again. The police come out and say there's no evidence that the doctor's medical records show anything to do with X syndrome or anything like it on Daniel's records. So let's talk about something else. Oh yes, I know, let's talk about the bruises on Daniel's arms. Yes, that must be Benoit because after all, he did the triple crossface. Oh no, said the police, it wasn't a triple, it was a cripple crossface. Oh, yeah, we've seen the wrestling clip, and we've seen But we do seem to agree with you that um, in the crippled crossroads, he doesn't seem to put bruises on any wrestlers, I'm saying. It must be because he was doing it on a child. No, no, it isn't. It's because he didn't do it. Uh, and then there was the three days it took to kill all these people. Yes, that must be Benoit because no intruder would take so long. Oops, wrong again. Maybe the intruder was deliberately prolonging it to get at Benoit, to make it pretty ugly for Benoit in a sadistic way. Ever heard of a sadistic murder? Premeditated sadistic murder. Who thinks he can get away with it? And does get away with it? Someone who wants to destroy Chris Benoit's legacy? Who wants to blacken his name? It looks like it is, somebody like that. And then there's the injection of testosterone found in his body from the toxicology report. Oh, yes. Now he must have taken it just before he died. Oops, girl. Uh, maybe he got it injected when he was in the doctor um, on the Friday because it would still be in his body. Because they took the blood out quite early after that, didn't they? Um, would he take testosterone just before he commits suicide? I don't think so. If he's about to know he's going to die, what's he injecting testosterone for? Oh, then there's the suicide itself. He must have hung himself after all, says America. He's a wrestler. He's very heavy. He's too strong to be hung. Oops, wrong again. He's found without a shirt on. He's not hanging, but he's slumped. He's lying on the ground. Someone hung him. He was obviously sedated and he was pretty helpless. And they made it look like he wanted to kill himself. Just like they made it look like he wanted to leave Bibles by the bodies. A bit premeditated, a bit evil, 
but then you fall over it. How about the multiple SMS? A similar SMS. Oh, we can explain that, says America, because he was too scared to talk and the SMS would have given him away. Duh, hello. No, he sends the same SMS multiple times. Maybe he cannot speak at that moment. Maybe he's even got his mouth tied up. How do we know? There's no scars on his mouth. Does it make scars on your mouth? Even mouth tied up? So let's forget what his close friends said to him. All his friends who said how how it was so out of character that he would do such a thing. Let's just forget his love for his family, because this will not help us to explain why Benoit did it. Let's just forget that we cannot explain the beer cans and the wine, because now we can't because there's no evidence in the toxicology reports. In fact, let's forget the toxicology reports altogether because the media just isn't interested anymore. Because they can't explain it. In fact, all the family evidence, let's just forget it. Because we can't explain why Benoit did it in a clear way. And we're not willing to provide unequivocal evidence. So let's just keep quiet. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to tell you. Did you notice in the toxicology reports, there's no evidence of alcohol, but there's evidence of sedatives in all of the bodies. So did Omar put a sedative in his own body? Are you going to tell me he did this because he didn't want to feel the pain? Uh, could it be that a third party was in there, put sedatives in the whole family, so he could, or they could, deliberately premeditatively kill them over a long period of time in a sadistic manner? Well, no evidence to the contrary. And there's certainly no evidence that anyone did it. It's an open case right now. I told you in my earlier recordings, which you can still see on YouTube, that they would find no alcohol and they didn't. They'd find sedatives in all the three bodies and they did I told you they would never find steroids sufficient to warrant roitlers, and they didn't. But if you want to blame someone, and you think you've already got the answer, and you don't want to find out the truth, of course, you just ignore it and hope it goes away. But let me tell you another truth. The real murderer or murderer, whoever did this, is probably still out there. Still free, just like O.J. Simpson is free. How does that feel? Who knows who the next victim will be? Wake up, America. Wake up. Is it that you can't see the facts? Or is it just because you're unwilling to admit your police just got it wrong?